Labour Party's presidential candidate and the former Anambra State Governor, Mr. Peter Obi, got angry on Sunday during a presidential town hall meeting and lashed out at the spokesperson of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Presidential Campaign Council, Senator Dino Milaye. According to Punch Report, trouble began when Senator Dino Milaye called an attendee of the town hall meeting, Obi people. When Peter Obi heard that statement that was made by Dino Milaye, Obi, Peter Obi tackled him, warning him to stop that. He went on and made it known to Dino that he won't take that from him, telling him that the man is from A. NPP. Peter Obi said, stop that, Dino. Why are you always calling me? I won't take that. This man is from NNPP, ANPP. Why are you calling him Obi people? Dino Mal Molai feigned ignorance, but Peter Obi insisted that he will not condone such behavior, behavior from him. Peter Obi again told Dino Milai, Stop that. I have taken enough from you. Why are you always calling me? He asked. Record that there was a presidential town hall meeting that was held yesterday by the presidential candidates of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, and his APC counterpart, Bola Tinubu, was reportedly absent during the town hall meeting. So guys, what's your take on Sanidis? The Labour Party's presidential candidates and the former Anambra state governor, Mr. Peter Obi, get angry on Sunday during a presidential town, town hall meeting and lashed out at the spokesperson for the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Presidential Campaign Council, Senator Dino Milai. According to the Punch report, trouble began when Senator Dino Milai called on attendee of the town hall meeting, Obi people. When Peter Obi heard that statement that was made by Dino Milai, Peter Obi tackled him, warning him to stop that. He went on and made it known to Dino Milai that he won't take that from him, telling him that the man is from ANPP. Peter Obi said, stop that, Dino. Why are you always calling me? I won't take that. This man is from ANPP. Why are you calling him Obi people? Dino Milai feigned ignorance, but Peter Obi insisted that he will not condone such behavior from him. Peter Obi again told Dino Milai, Stop that. I have taken enough from you. Why are you always calling me? Calling me. Record that there was a presidential town hall meeting that was held yesterday, but the presidential candidate of People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, and his APC counterpart, Bello Bola Tinubu, was reportedly absent during the town hall meeting. So guys, what's your take on this particular issue? The, the truth is that <laughs> these people are angry Dino Milai is behaving like a child. You understand? The way Dino Milai is talking, monitoring Obi, name, and this and this and that, everybody, anybody that attacks is Peter Obi supporters and all that, you will now understand that they are already feeling defeated already. Yes, they are feeling defeated already. They are seeing Peter Obi as a threat. And they will come out and come and tell you that Peter will be cannot win. Peter will be does not have the strength. He does not have the structure to win uh, the president the 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 presidency come 2023. You know how they started this whole thing now. Peter will be supporters uh, only on social media. When they see them on ground, the next thing we say, Peter will be supporters. Many of them not get PVC. You see all these old politicians, when they don't make themselves Lord. Because you are a politician, that does not make you Lord. These people, they have finished this country. 
they have lost so much money. Our resources that 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 supposed to be used for something tangible, Nigerians are suffering. Our health care is nothing to tell home about. The schools, see now, see see the issue of ASO. Very soon now, maybe this university of eighteen, we not we not in fact we no longer exist in Nigeria because of all these people. They don't care. The issue of ASO is still on ground. ASO has warned again that they are going to embark on this, their strike. It doesn't bug them. Their children are not in all these schools now. When they have headache, they will, they will travel abroad. Dino Milaye should just, just leave Peter Obi alone. You have said it, that Peter Obi is not going to win election. Leave him. Reno or Mokri is in one side. He will say something, he will say, Obi supporters, just looking for a way, looking for a way to dent Peter Obi because they are seeing Obi as a threat to them, even when they have refused to accept it. Anyway, Nigerians have reacted. Let's hear them out. I wonder why Dino Milai always like monitoring Peter Obi's name always. I really don't understand him, but Peter Obi did well by warning him. A talk is a talk, no matter where you place him. Peter Obi is a living God to Milai. That is why he cannot finish a statement without mentioning Peter Obi. Obi is not strategic, must still be in a very invite. The same he when he he, he, he visited David Mark without proper invitation. Mm -hmm. These are reactions by Nigerians. How can you just say that? He was invited. So you are now claiming that those people who did not come, they did well. These are people who want to rule Nigeria tomorrow. They have refused to come on live uh, interview, mostly the APC candidates. Then tomorrow, they will start telling us story. Exactly what is happening today. This the same thing that is happening right now happened happened during the the Buhari's uh, time. They will tell us it doesn't matter. And Nigerians we are so eager to change. They want to change. They want to change power. So whatever Buhari was doing and whatever they they were covering that time, it doesn't matter. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.